We're 68 right now. The dew point, that's a measure of the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. When it's in the 50s, it's very, very comfortable. East, northeast winds right now at 9 miles an hour. Look at this sunset. Out enjoying Lake Panorama. I mean, it was glorious across the state today. Had just a few clouds out and about in some nice colors. Hope you had a chance to get out and enjoy KCCI News app. Track that hour by hour weather. Look at the upper 50s through 6 a.m. 10 a.m. 66 degrees. Winds east to southeast tomorrow about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Noon 71. 4 p.m. temperature 76. Again, after sunset, it's going to cool off quickly. We're not really used to that yet. So if you're going to stay out a little later, maybe uh, around the campfire, it is going to cool on off. Satellite and radar crystal clear across the state out there. The only thing I see developing is a little patchy ground fog late tonight, maybe in some of the river valleys. So keep that in mind if you're an early commuter. It is very active in the Gulf of Mexico. I just looked at one of the Doppler radars. It looks to me like the, the winds are well over 80. 80 miles an hour uh, as this Hurricane Hermine moves on shore. Also, along with the storm surge, the heavy rain and the major winds there, you have the tornadoes. We've had a couple tornado warnings in these bands kind of spinning around with all this spin in the atmosphere and then a tornado watch across much of the state until tomorrow morning. So winds right now at 80, but I just looked at Doppler radar. As I mentioned, I think they're over 80 miles an hour. It's just a few miles from landfall. Moves across Georgia. Finally weakens a bit to a tropical storm, but at 8 a.m. Friday, still 70 mile per hour winds. Look what happens as it moves up the coast. Anywhere you see this orange or yellow, that's well over six inches. In some places could see even more. And then it heads out to sea, but it may hang off the coast and just kind of spin for a little bit, and that will cause some problems for holiday weekend travelers in the northeast potentially. So here's future cast. Clear skies tonight, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds in southeastern Iowa tomorrow. Clear skies Friday night, Saturday. I think you'll see some clouds occasionally north and west. And Sunday, a little more cloud cover the farther west you are, maybe a couple storms along the Missouri River. Town to town tomorrow, enjoy sunshine in Indianola 77, 77 in Adel. Look for sunny skies in Creston, Lamoni 76, Atlantic 76 degrees. More sunshine, Storm Lake in the mid 70s, Jefferson 76, 75 in Eldora tomorrow, Webster City, what a day, mid 70s and sunshine. Newton, a great day ahead, 76, Corden 76 degrees, forecast for tonight. 58. So cooling off again. Those nights will be a little cool, but sunshine tomorrow up to 78. A little patchy fog. Southeast wind. Everybody looking towards the weekend. Iowa City tailgate in the low 70s. Kickoff 77. Mostly sunny. Game at 7 o'clock up in Ames. Tailgating mid 70s. Kickoff temperature 74. But by the fourth quarter, probably dropping down into the cool 60s. Here's a detailed look at your eight-day forecast. Saturday 79, Sunday 82, a slight chance of a storm Sunday night, early Labor Day. 89 Labor Day with some humidity, and then it looks like it's going to get a little stormy next week, so enjoy this nice period of dry weather.